Let's try this again. Playing Game of Thrones. For some reason, when I try to broadcast, the service cuts me the fuck off. Trying to start this up again on my new PS4. Old one is kaput. And with it went my choices, so I've started from the beginning. Game of Thrones being an awesome series, and this game being really, really good. I don't mind that. Just hope I can make the same decision so I could have seen what my outcome would have been. Now let's see if we can get to playing and get some footage actually going and share to all of you out there that may be watching. Budship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. <laughs> well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his head. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before Lord he dragged Forrester. you out right across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day it the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just laughing. Everyone else is fucking laughing. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Fucking right. I get to drink? What we got going here? To Rob Stark, the king in the north. The King of the North! We march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Death yes, to the Lannisters! Iron from ice! Got it. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As Roderick. his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Yeah. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You serve me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. <laughs> there were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. Yeah! We wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Whew! Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! More wine? Give me a hand. Come on. Make it up to you. Yeah. No problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine. 
scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. <laughs> it could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is... What an asshole. At this rate will never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest nothing of the low. Lowest of All the fucking your mom. All I squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. For real. Much further. It's right over there. Take your time. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. <laughs> nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Ah oh, shit, they plotting and planning. What's wrong? Just gone into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. Come on, man. In such a rush. Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester, hey, Bowen. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> I've got to, I've got a job to do. As a squire, my last day, motherfucking get it in. Oh, come on now, what the fuck are you doing? Didn't expect that, I forgot. Ready to go, ready to go. Run, nigga, run! Ooh, this shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Hold on, hard to. Uh... Mm. Oh shit. Ready, boys! Whoa! Fucked up. Oh, dream. Shoot that one! Motherfucker. Fuck you, fag. Shoot at me. Boom. Distracting him long enough. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look out. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Get down. Crawl. I'm trying to get there. Motherfuckers on fire! Good thing I had a motherfucking shield. Ah, oh, shit. Roderick! Whew! Whew! Come on! Get the fuck off me! Who the fuck is you talking, Naga? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, shit. Come on! Oh, come on, come on. You can get ran over by yourself. 
Fuck off. That's what I'm talking about. Get some. Oh, shit. Oh. And again, dead. Just a horse. Unless his ribs is just cave the fuck. He's wearing armor. Did I find him? The phrase cool, no, no, he's gone. I tried to him save not. him. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I had to. Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! Don't think I left him last time. Yeah, I chose a different decision already. Shit! You fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Nah, bruh. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. To keep moving, give them something to run after. God damn, he bleeding out like a fuck. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath. Where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let my it life fall into the hearts of those traitors. With my life. You have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell I'll die uncle. with you. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear, uncle Duncan, will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go. Kill those uh, fucking Duncan. foresters. Uncle Duncan, gotta remember that. Uh, North Grove. We love the fray. Come on, get the fuck out of there, protect the sword. Yeah. And there's the intro. Not bad, I ain't gonna lie. Felt like I could have done more, but uh instead of you last time I warned him, warned the, the other squire to, to run or something. Instead, this time I took the fuck off because I was thinking it was my duty to go warn Roderick not to save motherfucking Bowen or whatever. He should have been on his P's and Q's paying attention to what the fuck was going on. That's my honest fucking opinion. Iron from ice. And we'll see what decisions I make the second time around.
All right, I'm back. Let's see what's up going on. I don't know which way I'm walking. Fucking big ass pig. Feel like bacon to me. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Lord. Pig got slaughtered. Fresh. Yep. Dead pig. Signs ain't looking too good. Let's go look at this motherfucking car. That's father's car. Father, no. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Bolton. Motherfucking Lord Bolton did this shit. Come along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. What the I'm fuck? Going to kill you. You gonna fuck up Is my daddy? So? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This get off my land. land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Boy, you better, might want to get off me, cuz. No. I'll have that sword, boy. <laughs> yeah, you'll have it all right. <laughs> you'll have it all right. You'll have it. You got for me. Come on now, pick up the sword. All right, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Are you fucking kidding me? You are a pig farmer, aren't you? How about that? I want my sword, cuz. Get off me. Get off me. Where you going, cut? Oh, you just gonna use it on me? Let go of my motherfucking sword. My quest. Oh, this nigga stabbed me. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, got him. Please, I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Fuck out. I showed mercy. I don't think I showed mercy last time. Lord White Hill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> It didn't even matter. Fuck out and killed your homie. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. Sister, 
My whole family. I should have killed that motherfucker. I forgot about my sister. I'll kill the men who did this. Thought you did already. Let them go, I guess, in a sense. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! In the Great Hall. Two White Hill soldiers? Damn right, it was two motherfucking White Hill soldiers. Now, based on what I was fed and shit, kind of blows me. But that's alright, I guess. Um, and I gotta play for Uncle Duncan. That's who's got the fuck I gotta tell. Boom. And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's... Never. Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Who is you? Thank you, Maester. Maester. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. Any but the different. White Hills won't see it that way. We can't very well let the White Hills walk all over us. We can't. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Sure. <sighs> Golly, that's nasty. These are dark days, I fear. <laughs> to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious oh, man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? <laughs> I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Well, it's odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. I was giving him He's as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. All right. Circulating blood. Mr. Ortangren. Let's look at some of these supplies. Might need some for later or something. Right, take some healing or I don't know what the fuck might come. This next. might help. It might help. It might not. <laughs> yeah, maggots. Good for healing, well, though. Cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about cute, but uh, they get a job done. I don't even feel like talking to you just yet. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look. <laughs> Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Asha. Asha. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. I can't wait to get to that man and play his character. He's cool. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. <laughs> Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. <laughs> Ever easy. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Hmm. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. What about the Foresters on the menu codex page? Hmm? I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put. I ain't finished exploring just yet. The Ironwood Grove. Iron for mice. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. The foresters owe their lives to this wood and the weapons that come from it. Uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Oh, uh, you need to see me motherfucking walk. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. <coughs> Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on.
Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. Duncan. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Me. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? Vengeance? We have to be smart. The Ramsay fuck? Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you I can like talk some sense into your being own. Smart. suffered enough fuck? already. You, you asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. Yeah, we, we let the man justice. justice. Aye, justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he, he needs will our learn help. Today. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Well, I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot, cannot fucking stay. stay. Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle. My place is here. here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Man, I don't like these options. No, it doesn't seem fair. But it is what's best. This is bullshit. Bullshit. That settles it then. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. This is bullshit.
Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Damn Forrester right. would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. This is some bullshit. I didn't even get to pass my fucking message. Lady Liza Forrester, Roderick Forrester, Asher Forrester, Mira, Ethan, Talia, Ryan, Garrett Tuttle, Duncan Tuttle, Kessman of Iron Man. I, I got a My message heart. for you, motherfucker. I know I'll see you again. Yeah. You pissed me off, but uh I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not yeah, often discussed, not so if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, yeah. Garrett. I need to know the truth. I've of told no not. one. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. God damn it. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your house actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Open the gate. Garrett, wait. What you got for me? What's up, baby? And that shit is just uh cool. Be safe. Thank you. Sweet little girl. Oh, too late. You never got my message, huh? Damn. That's not a quick message saying give me some steak pizza aside from y'all's, but fuck it. Ethan! What is that? I don't care about you. I care about that one. Thank you. Get out my way, I'm Help playing a game. You. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe <laughs> something happened to him. Ethan's fine. Oh, yeah. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. <laughs> 
Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He don't he like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. What I'm the right hell? Here. Hey, who left the door open I'm while you? I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He won't get hurt. He got hurt by those White Hill men. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I have headphones on. No, I can't hear you. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or... Or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody <laughs> says that about you. But These decisions. I really don't like lord, the options they give me sometimes. You can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Unmute. Lord. I don't even know what just happened. God damn it. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. <clears throat> I'm coming. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced. And certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with <clears throat> Duncan? Justice? He is the Castellan. <clears throat> Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. Fine, if that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Oh, 
I am Lord. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. <laughs> All right, time for the face-off. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? Don't matter Where about having my back. In the It'd calm your nerves. Bruce Bolton is the warden of the North. Aye. <sighs> and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice, but the harm is what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Is that no oh. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire your men. family. Fucking you right. Pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers oh, oh, were oh. hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I Took don't. care of it. He received his punishment, and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me Your of it. justice. I nah, I didn't deny you of nothing. My justice. Your now justice, bring me whatever. Bring the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of Your honorable mama's men. house. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Coming. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. 
Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Yeah! That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. <laughs> Did lie. <sighs> Do your worst, you bastard. You must find your voice, my lord. Your enemies will interpret your silence as a sign of weakness. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Okay. Last time I showed favor to Mar Marjorie, I think it was. This time, I'm going to stay favorable to my family some way, somehow. Bear with me in meeting the Snickers. Alright, back in it. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. I can't hear you again. Ethan made this for me. Some something burning. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. 
I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking. You seem a little upset. Uh, here. No, you need... I'm fine. Oh. Thank you. Of course, hey. lady. Before I get mad, come here. Uh, you did it. Come here. Who? This one. Who else does that? She hasn't been over here, baby. No, there is. That thing comes out one way. Okay. I've already got a fifteen hundred dollar TV broken. The surround sound was already broken. I've adjusted it to work with different chords. And this has happened multiple times. If you're not watching them when they're out here, they don't need to be out here. Do I make myself clear? I heard you. I'm not. All I do is listen to you. I understand. I understand you don't want your thing broken. Damn, but you don't have to talk to me like that. Like I did it. Andre, come to mama. That just broadcasted to everything, God fucking damn. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. What? what do you need? I was getting a drink. I'll get it. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forest. House Forest. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. What? But I thought you ought to know. Water. Bring my stuff. The red one. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss.
From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend. I said bring the red stuff. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What Thank you've you. suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. <laughs> she mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. I don't understand how she's hot in real life and in she the game. Can I agree? with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Where is a crazy kid? Good luck. Good luck. Doing. Don't let it get damaged if we're planning on using it for puzzles or whatever. Don't break the lamp. You can do this. Alright. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house. I'm doing something. The king. You're gonna have to. Are they? I beg your pardon. Go through your mom to talk to me. To you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord no. Forrester. Yeah. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king. Your grace. Hmm. And yet. And yet. For centuries, the centuries the forest the forest is the royal banner of house. Stark. A house, a house of haters. They were the wardens of the north. We all, we all deserved, deserved the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever, clever for her good. good. The girl the girl's name is Joffrey. Joffrey. One, one, two, king. Is your house, is your house willing to swear to fealty to your new lord? No, 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 no. Yes, your yes, your grace. Absolutely, absolutely. I see that you, you despite the fact you were bolt and allied with the world of Frey. If it was me, it was I'd find it difficult to so quickly so forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but 
but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told I'm there are others who would happily serve that purpose, purpose. but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Iron, Iron does, seem does seem rather unique. unique. Yes, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame, be a shame to see it come to have the house. I imagine you would do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Castle Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't, I won't dishonor myself, myself, Grace. Your Grace. I see. I see. What would you have to go to, Cersei? Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the side of the wielding a battle of the northern army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wheel? Our dear Marjorie, who was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to find. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what works within their hearts. You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would answer the question. Go on, Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't know it straight. She is in the threat now, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. <laughs> <laughs> My sense is this girl will say, say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not just <laughs> encouraging. <laughs> I'd like a I'd word, like word with you. Of course, of course your, grace. your Grace. I'll walk, I'll walk you out. This may, this come, may come as a surprise, surprise but I met, I met your father once at the tournament at the Plans for. Plans for. Even then, Even he, then didn't he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke, we only spoke briefly, briefly, but your father was an honorable man. man. You have my that condolences, man, condolences his for his loss. These would be He's trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lady. That's very That's kind of you to say. That sounds like a church. To so publicly public declare your loyalty, loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Yeah. Poor Lady Poor Marjorie Lord was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite, quite pleased. It was, it was quite, quite the first, first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. My sister and I have our, have our differences. She takes, she takes great pleasure in doing charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must we find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your eye to, to another house. house. It is the master, is the master of coin who decides such matters. The, the crown needs boats, boats, boats need wood, and, wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. Not her. What are you what suggesting? I suppose, I suppose the crown could, could be persuaded, persuaded to I am the house forest. Lady Marjorie would be my favor of such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although, Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to listen? Mm -hmm. It may be far too dangerous. dangerous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry Terry, Terry. Terry. But it's a risk it's I cannot afford. afford. I admire my discretion. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I promise Sansa I will join her for dinner tonight. 
Three beautiful bottles of Dornished wine. What? The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Ah, shit, and Just be careful. This is not the not King's Landing. Are they done eating? Fucking broadcasting the arguments and shit. Try to be nice so y'all can hear the shit while y'all the fuck out here. Mira. Mira. I was worried. How was it? She's been. It's not just a one-time situation. Don't acknowledge it as if it's a fucking one-time situation. Okay. It's more intimidating. It went well. Really? Really? That's really Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day with the scene of the wedding. Of course, you and I are sort of way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I would be in tarnishing that light back of theirs. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in my time, I'm told you're still which I doubt is doing it. Put it back. Put it back. We're, just We're just having a bit of fun. fun. That's probably the best. best. I've heard you've had a bit possessed. Perhaps I'm not sure if Marjorie can use the right to be Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, I'm not sure if you're going to be here. Don't speak to him at all. He's playing a game. Would you go with Joffrey if it meant you were making coins? He does have a sense of being a little about him. And he's always treated him very well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power he would have as Queen of the Seven Kings. I might even have him to be my handmaid. Let's see. Let's see. Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a what perfect match. match. Sir Bran. What are you doing? Well, well. Sarah. Sarah. We're sorry, we're sorry, my lady. We were just, we were just having fun. This is not, this a, is game. not a game. It's a battle. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with, made with every move. move. Yet they say yes, it is the men who hold power powerful. The queen, the queen was, was pleased by your display. Who are you, though? I'm just going to say it's over. I did what you told me to do. King's Landing has been a storm sometimes. sometimes. There's always, There's always someone, someone to please, some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear, I fear it can only get worse, get worse when I am queen. Once they know one thing true heart, heart, the ladies will have no choice but to love you. No, you know. Do you agree? Do you agree? Oh. God damn it, Sarah is right. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you feel. <coughs> it only matters, it matters what, you what you say. You learn, you learn very, very quickly. quickly. You were brave, you were brave, brave agreed, agreed for Baltimore. Baltimore. That can't be easy. easy. I know you I must know fear what Lord Bolton, Bolton might do to your family. I do I appreciate, appreciate your willingness, willingness to appease her, her. As difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my Thank lady. You, my lady. There's, there's, there's something on my mind. mind. Something important. Something important. My mother wanted, my mother wanted me, to me to ask a favor of you. For my family. For my family. But as you said, as you said you're in a you're delicate position now for the wedding soon. And I would and never, I never want to jeopardize that. Soon, soon I, will I will be queen. And, and maybe, maybe then I'll we'll be in a better be position to help you. you. But, for, but now, for now, now we now must we both be cautious. cautious. Of course, of course lady. my lady. You're right. You're right.
How much further is it to these foresters? Oh, man. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The lord? Shh. Listen. There. Yeah. Hear that? Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. Don't run. Never mind. Never mind. We've wasted, We've enough, wasted enough time already. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. You give me two. See the damage that was done. I don't know if I can turn this game off. Generations of Forrester Lords and Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair, and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These be your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Then you yelled, Bro, 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 Bro,
Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. <gasps> Two shields and three spears. Is what the royal is true? Yes, 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 my lord. My lord, I fled. I fled. We should all. We should all fall. Fall. It's not it's stealing not if stealing you're taking you're what's yours by right. I've right. a family, family to feed. To feed. They're not two They're coins not to rub together yes. since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. Ethan, oh, Ethan. I know these I know words are hard, but they're honest. But they're honest. This house this is house falling. falling. We'll never, we'll never survive the kind winter. winter. Most of us will be living to see it. it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. You'll address him as law. Lord Ethan, Lord Ethan, you, you must, must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor, Lord Gregor always, always took a deep statement. Free it. Free it. Now may now not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge. The men, men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their law will not, will not permit it. it. They can send him to the wall. I will decide. If you if punish, you punish me, me, you'll be punishing an innocent, an innocent man. man. No. Just, just... No, you're not innocent, though. Please. 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 you Please. 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 You wow it. Let it happen around here and I'll take your three fingers or more. Yeah, every time. You will take them from me? I will carry out the sentence. Steal from me and my weapons. This is injustice. Oh my lord! Oh my lord. Pleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom? But, Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, yeah. the bracer of the Sentinel. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord.
Kink, I hear you. You're all worthless and weak. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. And then she got red on the cheek, you cut a cheek. Gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. A sensible plan, Maester. It may come to that. I am glad to hear your mind is open to possibility. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? I am not ready. No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand the siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. We face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. You had your reasons, but nonetheless, you undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. Thank you. <coughs> I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Say, Lord Ethan. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Get down, get down, get down. First light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in this house. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. 
creating a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. <coughs> if I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Ah, <coughs> Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. I know you said you'd get angry sometimes, but I didn't think I'd see it so soon. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. You're just as capable as Asha or Patrick <coughs> ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Thank you, Chigali. Nothing but decisions to make. I don't like Duncan. Okay, I gotta sit up because you obviously just gonna keep doing that. Want to look at. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Repeat. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I still don't like choosing Duncan. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Yes, my lord? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk, but now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. 
Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I'm making decisions that were like not done the first time around. One of them is going to betray me. This guy trains the soldiers. I would like for him to be in charge like last time, but even Lord Forrester told Garrett. He, I don't know. Play it from my perspective or play it from their perspective. Don't get me. I'm going to get two more. Duncan, talk to the mace when we finish exploring. Not sure what I want to do. I have a choice between Duncan and Sir Royland. And either way, later on in the story, I lose one of them. I won't tell you how, but this choice will affect that down the line. So, what am I going to do? Sir, uh, Sir Duncan did undermine me and made a decision to get rid of Garrett, which made me angry as hell as a player. Not even thinking about it from the Lord's perspective. People don't even have the courtesy or respect to tell me. My Lord, are you now ready to name your I am to ready. Yes, yes, I am. Mister. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. 
I will hear from my sentinel. Please. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Ah. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We'll meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. I'd hoped for better from you, my lord. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. 
But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to do this yet. Well then... Milady. What? You! Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Bloody hell is Duncan. Now ah, fuck him if he's angry. <coughs> I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan yeah. is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! All right, they're coming. I've got decisions. All I know is I'm going out like no punk to nobody. Cause I ain't no punk. That's what I try to say. Goddamn. Something wrong with your gate? Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The lord of the house says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. <coughs> A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? 
Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. No. Some, no. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Look at that. War Forester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? No. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. You've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One Bolton. You're mistaken. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a White Hill. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord White Hill will take half of your Ironwood. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. But Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's they peace. Cause more trouble, not less. We'll and make sure there's no gates. more trouble. We'll bar the gates! Too late for that. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff? God damn. He'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. 
do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. God damn it, Do let me attack him. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? God dang it. No! Oh, no! What have you done? No! But I don't want the brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I, saw... I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. The fuck? Stop! Take the boy as your war. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. That's some bullshit. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh. You will not take Stop him! Help me! Please! Please! No! no. no. Ryan. Do something! Ethan? Oh. My son. Man, that is so fudged up. Some bullshit. Next time on Game of Thrones. For those of you that bared with me during this broadcast, so for us all, apologies for any Sage interruptions Tarly's and uh, life. he'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. Crazy, this I know. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again. Our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? I am prepared. We left Bowen behind. That's because the 33% of us stayed true to our job. You and 61.9% swore loyalty to the king. Obviously, what I say is not how I feel. You and 15.9% took Eric's fingers. You're damn right. Because the simple thing was, what is the law? He was caught. Okay. He was leaving us and he was taking weapons. There could have been another way, I believe. There honestly could have been another way. You and thirty and thirty point two percent picked Royland as Sentinel. And get me wrong, I was conflicted, but that's because of the whole story. But viewing it only from one perspective, the new Lord's perspective. The Sentinel, what does he do? He defends the family at all costs, and he's got. Even if I don't agree with him, I have the last say. And then you and fifty one percent met Ramsey at the gate. I don't think I did that last time, but I just thought it might do something. I don't know how the hell they got in and killed everybody or something. That's just fucked up. I hate the options. And then they're going to kill him at the end, which just blew the hell out of me. 
You already know if you watch the show how Bolton is, or Snow, Ramsey Snow. He's one hateful motherfucker. That's all I can really say. So if they'd have gave me the option to swing at him and still miss and die or something, I'd have swung at him and died swinging. That's just my true perspective on it. Now the next episode, I think we've, there's a couple things that are figured out or shown, so that's cool. I won't dive into them today, obviously, but uh, as you've seen from the playing, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Boy LT Assassin. Showing y'all all the way games should be played. Roy LT promotions. Now you can hate. The next episode is episode two. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. Jon Snow. What is the name of episode two? Curiously. The Lost Lords. I know what that hints to. Revealing of new lords. New lords. Well, that's it, guys. Royalty Assassin signing off. Made by Mattel. Probably be here next time. Your game, my choices. Telltale Games, Game of Thrones.